Okay, so, um, today was a weigh-in. Well, no, you know what? Let's just start this all over. Hi, guys. How are you today? That's so rude. <laughs> I hope everyone had a wonderful, productive, weight-losing day. For once, it's good to be a loser, right? Okay, today was a weigh-in. Let's get to business. Um, point eight, just to put it out there. There's no way to even describe it besides I lost point eight pounds. I didn't even lose a freaking pound. So I'm at 366.2. When I first saw it, it was disappointed. But then I thought about it. I didn't give it my all this week. I didn't. You know, I ate decent, you know. I didn't eat fast foods and things like that. But I did point eight worth, basically. I only worked out twice out of the whole week. Yesterday and Sunday. So it's not like, you know, I really gave it my all. So the disappointment is in myself, not the number. Um, but once I left the meeting, I felt better. And this is why I don't mind paying the money for Weight Watchers. Because it's not so much about the points and the diet. It's how I feel when I leave those meetings. And it does work. And it's so many people that relate to me. So it makes me feel better. So yeah, when I left there, I didn't leave there with my head down. I left there with my head high. Um... So yeah, and all in all, this week, guys, I need whoever that watches my video, we got to hold each other accountable. I have to hold myself accountable, but I need you guys' support, and I'm going to really be kicking it into gear this week. Um, you're going to see a lot more videos, probably. I'm going to make the time. To do better videos. Because I was looking. I can like. um I found out that I do have software on my computer. To edit videos. I didn't know that. But now I do. So I will be definitely like editing the videos now. And making a, a little better presentation. Starting next week. Um, so yeah. This. This has got to stop. I'm tired of being fat. I'm just sick and tired of it. Seriously, in fifth grade, I was 174 pounds. I still remember. You were back in the day in public schools, they used to weigh you and then put in a little card and send it home to your parents. I still remember the way that my teacher looked at me when she weighed me. And she was like, oh wow, this isn't good. But nobody did anything to help me. And me being young, I didn't know how to help myself. So, um, oh my gosh. I've. I'm not to get emotional. Okay. I get really emotional because for years I've held all these feelings inside. I didn't talk about it. Act like it wasn't a problem. But, you know, there is. In middle school, I was in a, I was a size 18, 20. High school, 22. Left high school, 24. College, 24 to now I'm 26. 28. I'm 366.2 pounds at 23. There's no reason for it. None. Um, this is just the bad. To me, this is just as bad as a drug addiction or alcohol addiction. It all kills you. Food, drugs, alcohol. It all kills you. Um, I'm really kicking it into gear. Like, I cannot continue to do this. I cannot continue to live this way. I don't have to live this way. Yeah, that's pretty much it. 
So this is how I feel today. I'm sorry if the video is like all depressing. I was hoping I'd be able to make a hoorah video and be all excited. But um, no, this is this is what at my job we call a fire starter. Putting some fire up under some asses. Like, you know, I gotta do this. This is for me. This is not for anybody else. This is for me and my benefit. And for me to say that I did it. And um, I know my first video, I stated that um, I wanted to get gastric bypass. I'm not doing that anymore. I decided, no. I ate my way to 367 pounds. And I'm going to run and sweat my way down to 140. This is up to me. I can do this. I'm strong enough to do this. Because you know what? I get this gastric bypass and they cut me open. Then guess what? If I'm still doing the same things that I did before I got the surgery, I'm st I'm going to be right back here. And then, God forbid, I have the surgery and then I'm fat again. I'm going to jump off a bridge. It's, it's snowing hell. I'm going to have a $40,000 surgery. Lose 200 pounds and then gain it all back. Because I had the surgery but I didn't change my lifestyle. And then be fat again. Oh, hell no. That's not even an option. So, um, this is, this is it. I've made up my mind. There will be no gastric bypass. This is me eating clean, healthy, and exercising, and working, and fighting to lose this weight. And I think I'll feel better that way as well. I'll feel like I redeem myself because I feel awful that I allowed myself to get to this point. I'm disgusted that I allowed myself to get to this point. It's the only way that I will honestly feel good about myself and I'll honestly forgive myself for this is if I work through it and I make something happen. That's the only way. And, um, yeah. That, that's the only way. Because I've been this way for way too long. And, um, I deserve better. I deserve a better life, a better quality of life. And it's not even so much about the, co you know, the cosmetic reasons, which... That's part of it too. Like, you know, I love fashion. I, you know, I love makeup. I love, you know, hair. I just love everything. Like, I love to get myself together. And, um, you know, how can I really do that? And I don't feel good about myself because I'm almost 400 pounds. How do I do that? So, um, yeah, that's pretty much that. <sighs> sick and tired. And you know what? I'm putting it in to being sick and tired. Starting today. Well, I started a week ago. I'm going to say I started a week ago. Starting last Wednesday. And now, starting today, really, really giving us 150%. Not lightheartedly. Giving it my all. And that's it. So, um. I hope you guys have a wonderful night. I will see you guys in the morning. Um. Yeah, I'm going to start making more videos. So, if you see. <laughs> if you feel like I have, like, too many videos. Um. Let me know. But, um. I will start making more videos. So. I will see you guys tomorrow, and be healthy and be blessed. Bye.